Right, Brian, thank you. We're learning more this afternoon about a 21 year old shot and killed on Indies near West Side on Wednesday. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains how that case reflects a deadly trend in that neighborhood. Police are still investigating exactly what led to the deadly shooting here along this street. At the same time, neighbors say they're tired of the violence because the killing here marked the third homicide in this area in just the last two weeks. Hearing at least a half dozen gunshots around 1.30 Wednesday afternoon, a woman here on Somerset Avenue ran outside and tried to help a man bleeding next to this white pickup truck. I told him that I was on the phone with 911 and he had gave me his name, told me he was shot in his stomach and his arm was broken. That witness asked not to be identified but says the victim, 21-year-old Taylor Miller, didn't explain why he'd been shot. Miller later died in the hospital. I have no idea what happened prior to that. Like I didn't hear any arguing, fighting or anything. We just heard the shots. Witnesses say a second victim thought to be a relative of Miller's survived being shot. Neighbors believe two suspects ran away from the scene. For their part, police wouldn't confirm those details and say no arrests have yet been made. Right now we have a family. We have a family who's grieving and trying to figure out what happened to their loved one. So it's important for the community in the area of this incident to come forward. This map highlighting the homicides in Indianapolis so far this year shows a cluster of three deaths on the near west side just a half mile north of the Somerset scene on Monday night. 30-year-old Sabrina Cowan was shot and killed in front of her home on 12th Street and a half mile south of Somerset, 18-year-old Kenzel Bones was shot to death outside a food mart on West Michigan. Police say none of those three deaths are connected, but say it's time for people in the community to speak up and help solve those crimes. You know, existing in it is not being a part. Being a part is playing a role. Stepping forward and letting people know what's going on in your neighborhood. Finally, anyone with information on any unsolved homicide, including the one here on Somerset, is still asked to contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. As that happens, IMPD.